Pack Southeast. I'm Tiffany Young, your host for the March episode of The Scoop. In this episode, we will learn about a land exchange for a new training helicopter field, Engineers Week 2019, and a new health challenge for command wellness. Let's get started. NAVFAC Southeast completed a historic exchange of helicopter outlying landing field sites with Escambia County, Florida on January 29th. A ribbon-cutting event was held January 30th at Site X, which featured a ceremonial first flight by NAS Whitingfield Commanding Officer Captain Bowditch. The land exchange provides Escambia County with property that can accommodate a wide variety of residential and light industrial development options. In return, the Navy gains a new fully functional helicopter outlying landing field that meets current helicopter flight training requirements and is closer to NAS Whiting Field. This unique exchange will serve as a model for leveraging underutilized facilities and real property assets to optimize our resources and more effectively support the warfighter. On February 22nd, civilians and military personnel from NAFAC Southeast participated in the 17th Annual Jacksonville District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers 2019 Engineer Career Day and the Northeast Florida Engineering Society Math Counts Competition. I spoke with Chief Engineer Jack McCarthy and Energy Project's Catherine Martin, who both volunteered their time for these events. The Engineers Day event at the Army Corps of Engineers prepares our local high school students that are interested in math and science to further their advancement in the engineering field. Math Counts is a math competition and school support program set up by the National Society of Professional Engineers. We also are tied together through the Society of American Military Engineers and locally we do events that encourage high school students that are interested in math and science to accelerate their um, path in education. Math Counts is directed at middle school children ages 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Homeschoolers are allowed to compete as well. This year at the Army Corps of Engineers Career Day, uh, which I, I, I serve as a judge normally every year, uh, had a take-home problem that involved buoyancy. We took a look at cargo ships and the amount of cargo that could be held by a ship. Math Counts is intended to encourage children to continue studying math, make it fun, um, challenge them to expand their understanding of math and their skills. I've been participating in this event at the Corps of Engineers uh, for seven years now. I've been volunteering with the local chapter of Math Counts for 13 years. It's really meant a lot to me and it helps me to uh, work with our youth. For me, it's a way to help the kids be challenged and expand what they're doing in their math classes and encourage them to, to keep studying. And it really gives me a lot of hope for the future with these guys. Thank you to all the volunteers that participated in this year's Engineering Week events. Now over to Joey Burnett for sports. Joey? Thanks, Tiffany. Let's be honest, it's a lot harder to stay focused on our personal fitness goals when the weather outside is cold or rainy, there's a bunch of pollen up in the air. We could all use a little help getting that extra motivation during the season. Here to give us a hand with that is our very own supervisory contract specialist, Rob Garski, who created this year's Command Wellness Challenge. Thanks for being with us here today, Rob. Thanks for having me, Joey. So can you tell us what exactly is this year's challenge? Uh, this year we're trying to do a trip around the entire perimeter of NAFAC Southeast AOR, a total of 5,900 miles. Can you explain to us what the intent of this challenge is and the inspiration you had behind it? Uh, the intent is to really bring everybody together and to also get everybody obviously achieving their, their fitness goals. Um, it's really going to pull people together and we can incorporate the entire AOR. Oh, wow, that's great. So I'm sure a lot of people out there are wondering, how are we doing currently right now as a command? We're doing amazing. Uh, the entire the intent was to do 5,900 miles in eight weeks. We did that in just over a week. So currently we're in week three and uh, we've already hit 17,000 miles. So we're going to see what we can do and see how many laps we can get in. Oh, that's awesome. And lastly, do you have any advice for those folks out there who might be struggling a little bit to achieve their wellness goals? You know, really the biggest thing you can do is, uh, is uh, get a, a goal that you can obtain and get a time that you can do it in and then get people on board, people that are willing to help you out, just like this challenge is doing. You know, get others involved, whether it's family members, coworkers, um, and, and really get to where you need to go. But as long as you're doing better than you did yesterday, that's where you need to be. 
That's awesome. Great advice. Appreciate the time taking this talk to us today. Now back to Tiffany in the studio. Tiffany? Thanks, Joey and Rob, and good luck to all participants. That's all we have for this episode, but before we go, here's a brief birthday message for the CBs and Civil Engineer Corps from our Senior Enlisted Leader, Senior Chief Jason Fletcher. The CBs and Civil Engineer Corps play a huge role in the missions of NAVFAC Southeast. Both amazing organizations had birthdays recently. The Southeast CB Ball was held March 2nd in Jacksonville, Florida to celebrate the 77th birthday of the CBs, hoorah bees, and the 177th birthday of the Civil Engineer Corps. The event was attended by nearly 250 guests from around the Southeast region, including guest speaker, Command Master Chief Del Terrell. Happy birthday to the members of the CBs and Civil Engineer Corps.